Hi everybody, Dawn Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a, another bunny card for you and another scene card for you. I know, go figure, right? I can't help it. I am a little bit, um, having a little bit of a hard time trying to get my creative juices flowing and scene cards usually work for me. So hence why so many scene cards, so many bunnies. Um, so I'll go ahead and I will use some pattern paper with that, make it a little bit different. And yeah, so without further delay, let's talk about what we're using here. So this is the Sweet Some, Some Bunny stamp set. I'm also going to be using the coordinating dies to cut them out. So I did stamp them ahead of time to save some time. And I'll go ahead and I'll color them for you. I'm gonna color one bunny in for you. With uh, I did stamp them with the Gina K Amalgam Ink. So I'm using my Copic markers. So I'm going to show you the gray ones because, yes, it is another warm gray bunny. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoy the coloring. I'll catch you on the other side. All right, quick and simple. I hope you enjoyed that. All right, so I'm showing you the pattern paper that I'll be using today, Spiffy Speckles from Lawn Fawn, as well as Dots and Stripes from My Favorite Things. I'll be using some Nina Desert, uh, no, Nina Solo White, and as well as some Raspberry and some Wild Lilac from Gina K Designs, and some Hero Watts Pitch Black. So I'll be putting my scene together here. That striped piece of paper it comes from a, a pattern paper pack that you can't get anymore, so I didn't bother listing it. I did use some Ellen Hudson dies. That circle die, it cuts out a frame at the same time. So I use those, and I'm going to go ahead and do some ink blending. So I'm using mowed lawn and tumbled glass, my favorite colors for grass and sky. I'll also be pulling out my... Um, my favorite things, stencil, cloud stencil, die, uh, stencil, and ink blending. So I'm going to do it real quick here for you. I'm going to try to do some different cards for you. Um, unfortunately, my crafty mojo is taking a hike on me. <laughs> and the only thing I can seem to manage to figure out is scene cards. I don't know. I don't have the inspiration, uh, the the creative juice to, to figure out cards today lately. Every time I do a flower card, I don't like the way it looks. So yeah, anyway, scene cards seem to be what's working for me. So that's why you're seeing so many of them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll build the scene. Now I'm gonna glue my pattern paper with some art glitter glue to my card base, which is a side folding card base. I don't know, I like side folding lately. I get on a, a kick and I stick to it for quite a while. 
I'm going to glue the grass to the scene as well as that rolling hills fence from my favorite things. It's a die and it goes behind the, the grass as you see. I did do a little bit of ink splattering as well because I like the way it looks. In the sky, I didn't put any on the grass though. Oh, I think I did. It just can't, you just can't really see it that much on the video. So I'll go ahead and I'll glue that on and start assembling my scene. So I did color a bunch of images for um, the 30 day, my uh, daily marker 30 day challenge. And I have a pile of them now. So if you'd like to see me put them together on cards, I can do that. I'm sure some of them will be scene cards if you're not sick of me making scene cards. If you're interested in me doing that, go ahead and leave me a comment in the description below and I will be more than happy to make cards for you. All right, so I'm gluing my scene together. I did use a tree from that stamp set. I like that tree. It's just to go in my scene cards. I like it because it's just whimsical looking to me. So yeah. Um, I have this road die. It comes with a curvy road as well as a straight road also from my favorite things. Again, I'll list all the things that I used in the description below. The names, the correct names for them. That way you can click on the links if you're interested in getting any of it. I'm just going to glue my road down to the bottom. And of course I forgot about my pink frame. So I'll have to pry that up. Fortunately, I remembered it before I, it completely got glued down. So I'll go ahead and glue the frame on now. <clears throat> I hope you're all doing well today, um, that you're staying safe in this trying time, as they say. I don't know about you, but I'm getting bored and stressed and I'm just stressed to the max. I don't know. It scares me just to leave the house to get groceries. But hopefully it passes fast faster than we can than we think it's going to, you know? And hopefully you're all stay you're all safe too. I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape to give my bunnies dimension because I love my dimension on my images. So I'll put the bunny on the road because she's traveling. I like to put things outside of the, the, the main focal panel too, to, to come off the sides of it as you, as you clearly see, because I did the same thing in my last card. See, I'm going to put the bird up there too. <laughs> I messed around with placement of everything for so long. So I cut a lot of it out, but, um, I do that. I'll get all the things ready to go and then it takes me forever to assemble it because you know I move it around, move it around, move it around. It's crazy. So I'll glue my bird to the top of the panel and my clouds are down and that's it. So now I'm going to work on my sentiment and of course I, as you see the top of the screen there, I had a sentiment but it didn't fit because I never think of sentiments before the end of the card. I always I, I always have my scene assembled. Then I go, oh, geez, the sentiment. <laughs> so I'm using a little bit of alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and some pitch black cardstock from Hero Arts. And I am going to heat emboss my sentiment. I forgot to use my powder bag. Naughty me. So I have to clean a lot of it up because it stuck to everywhere. So that shows you how important a powder bag is or a powder tool of any kind. So I'll clean that up and then I will go ahead and heat emboss it. All right, now I'm gonna use my trimmer, which I have a new one coming. I ordered the newest Tim Holtz, not the newest. The one that Jennifer McGuire always uses, Tim Holtz trimmer. See if that works better than the ones I have because I don't like neither one of them. So I'll go, go ahead and I will use a little foam tape. I was going to glue it, decided on foam tape and put that at the top of the scene. So it balances it out. So I have a little black, bit of black at the top and a little bit of black at the bottom. Ooh, words are hard. 
All right, that pretty much is it. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the inside of the card because that's what I do now. And I was gonna put the adventure away to, uh, what's it say? It says another year, another adventure filled year awaits you. I was gonna put it on the outside, it didn't fit. So here I am putting it on the inside and I'm using some Versafine Nocturne ink. And I'm also gonna put happy birthday on the bottom of it too. And I'll put an image or two, or one, the butterfly. And I'll use a little bit of Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen to finish it up. And that will be my card. The supplies I used have been listed in the description below. If you have a suggestion for a future video, go ahead and leave me a comment. Or if you'd like, you could just say hello. Let me know if you're interested in me uh, making cards for my images that I cut out, the, that I colored and cut out during the 30-day um, coloring challenge. Here's some close-up photos of my projects. There's the purple one I did as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's card featuring this My F Sweet Somebody. Yes, yeah, Sweet Somebody stamp set for my favorite things. And if you did, why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up? I'd appreciate your support. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe and God bless. Take care now. Bye.